My name is David Tonapirian. I'm the owner of DCD Customs, and we're here at my shop with our friends from Magnuson Supercharger, installing their new JL and JT Supercharger on one of our shop JLs. This thing came with four or five different components versus the previous one came in one big put together system, which I'm confident is gonna be a super easy and super clean installation. We're gonna have our main technician, Danny, throw this blower on our shop JL and uh, see the end results. Stay tuned. Connecting your battery is very important on these Jeeps because you have two batteries in this thing. You actually undo both terminals and make sure you tape them up and secure them away from touching anything related to grounding on the vehicle. Before we proceed with the install, we gotta remove the ECU and ship it out. They gotta unlock it, do some minor modifications to the tune, and ship it back to us for our blower kit. Time to remove our aftermarket fenders that we got installed here. If you got factory inner fenders, then you just follow your instructions and carry on with the installation. We gotta install the extension for our map sensor. We gotta bring it all the way up to the front. Now it's very important that you pay attention to the connectors. If you force them somehow and put it backwards, you will damage your plug. So be careful and it should go on very smoothly, like so. Torqued on our intake manifold, we gotta follow our torque sequence at the back of our instructions. Make sure to connect all your injector plugs and fuel supply line. Just like before, follow your torque sequence.
is installed, fluid topped off, battery reconnected, now let's start it up.